inspired. I call a member for Melbourne. On Saturday, two large truck bombs were detonated in a public area of Mogadishu. Over 300 people were killed and many hundreds more have been wounded. The bombing is one of the worst terrorist attacks anywhere in the world since September 11. It's been attributed by the Somali government and others to the al-Qaeda-affiliated al-Shabaab, and I utterly condemn those who have perpetrated this act of extreme violence. And today I wish to extend my deepest condolences to all of those who have been affected or lost loved ones in this atrocity, both in Somalia as well as here in Australia. My electorate of Melbourne is home to many Somali Australians, and the local community has been deeply shaken by this devastating attack. Members of, the Mel of Melbourne's Somali community have raised funds and called for peace in the wake of this bombing, and they have informed me of Mogadishu's overwhelmed hospitals and the urgent need for medical aid. Our media and political system must not fail the Somali community in the wake of this bombing. When terrorists kill white people, it's on the front page of every Australian newspaper and dominates the nightly news. But when it happens in Africa, it's buried up the back of the, of the world news section. And it pains me that we didn't even have a statement from the Prime Minister or a minute silence in here as we have had when there have been other terrorist attacks. We need to send a strong statement from this parliament that black lives matter as well and that when people in Africa are killed by terrorism, we should treat it just as importantly as when white people are killed. And of course, sadly, when people flee Somalia and seek safety here, we too often lock them up and turn them away. We must not fail our Somali community. I call the member for Menzies.